Good morning, students. In previous class, already we discussed what is nutrition, what is the heterotrophic nutrition, and what are the types of nutrition. In a heterotrophic nutrition, it is divided into three types. One is saprophytic nutrition, second one parasitic nutrition, and third one hologenic nutrition. Already we discussed the saprophytic nutrition. Example: mushroom, molds, and is next to parasitic nutrition. Example: lice, leech, and cascuta plant. Next to hologenic nutrition. Example: amoeba, paramecia, animals, including human beings. Nutrition in amoeba, nutrition in uh, Paramecium already we discussed in previous class. Today we are going to discuss about nutrition in a human beings. In human beings, the digestive system it is a complex in nature. In this digestive system, various parts are there. This various parts together is called as a elementary canal or a gut. In elementary canal, mainly nine parts are there: mouth. First one mouth, second one bacterial cavity, third one pharynx, fourth one esophagus, fifth one stomach, next one, sixth one large intestine, seventh one small intestine, eighth one rectum, and ninth one anus. These are the main parts, main parts in an elementary canal or gut. First one mouth. Slippery means uh, it is uh, jelly-like. 
This process is called mastication. This is a uh, about a uh, buckle cap. Next, uh, pharynx. Pharynx is the posterior part of the buccal cavity. Posterior part of the buccal cavity. Next, uh, the food passes from buccal cavity to pharynx through the food material. It is passes from buccal cavity to also passes through the pharynx. That is called a uh, swallowing. Here the epiglottis. Epiglottis it prevents the entry of food particles into windpipe. What is that epiglottis? Epiglottis. This is about uh, pharynx. Next to uh, oesophagus. Oesophagus is uh, also called as food pipe. Next to uh, the food particle, it is entered into the oesophagus and food pipe and the food particle, it moves like a, it moves like a wave movement like this, like this. In the oesophagus, these movements are called uh, peristaltic movements, peristaltic movements. The wave-like movement in a esophagus is called as peristaltic movement. Next, uh, the food particle now reached into the stomach. When food particle it is reached into the stomach, the stomach is a this one, this one. Stomach is a sac-like or bag-like structure and it is covered by a mucous membrane. It is covered by a mucous membrane like this. And this mucous membrane, it consists of the glands. These glands are called uh, gastric glands. These glands are called gastric glands. This uh, gastric glands contain uh, two types of substances in that uh, first one is HCL and second one is uh, enzymes. The enzyme name is uh, pepsin. Pepsin. What is the use of this HCL? HCL, it kills the microorganisms which are there in food particle that uh, in that uh, if any microorganisms are there, that microorganisms are killed by the acid, hydrochloric acid, it's a formula is HCL. And it breaks down the protein molecule structure. And the enzyme pepsin, it converts the proteins into peptones. Proteins into peptones. This is the main function of the enzyme pepsin. Next, uh, this mucous membrane, it is uh, covered or it protects the wall of the stomach by the action of uh, this uh, hydrochloric acid. When we feel hungry, in that time what happens? The hydrochloric acid uh, it, or the mucous membrane, it sends the message, message to brain. In that time we feel hungry. Again, we are not taking food. In that time, what happened? The hydrochloric acid, it uh, breaks down the mucous membrane and uh, the wound is found inside the stomach. That is called uh, ulcer. Ulcer. Next, uh, large intestine. Sorry, small intestine. This small intestine, uh, it is the largest part in the elementary canal or uh, in human beings. It is approximately, its uh, length is 9 uh, meters. Sorry, 7 meters. 7 meters in length. 
Liver. This is the largest mixed gland in a woman. Baby. 